Oh, right, we are back, ladies and gentlemen, and I think we just dealt with, uh, our psychiatrist. That scumbag who keep who kept, uh, stealing all our money. Uh, pretty sure we just dealt with him. Now I think we're heading off to go do the Solomon mission. Um, and I think this is the first time we actually get to see Gavin Weston mixed up with the whole Solomon business. Because uh, if you remember, we didn't actually need uh, Devin to come speak to Solomon, so it was just sort of like, hey, uh, so, you know, Devin set us up, but, you know, he was never there, and it always threw me off. <laughs> it was just, because uh, Michael keeps talking about how he needs Devin to secure his, his business with Solomon, and it's like, but, but you guys seem tight. <laughs> you and Solomon seem like friends, but he, and he, he even hates, you know, Weston, so I don't know why you would need Weston in order, whatever. <laughs> anyway, we actually get to see Devin in the cutscene, if I remember correctly, um, going in through the outdoor, <laughs> because I'm a professional, yes, that's how that works. All right, time to get this cutscene on the way so I can stop rambling about literally nothing. Ah, they're fast-forwarding time to the next day. Hello, hello. Good to see you, Slick. Devin, the hell are you doing here? It's over, Michael. You done good, kid. You kept this bullshit up long enough to help me trigger a fantastic insurance payout when the plug is pulled. I love you. You're you're like my spirit brother now. Where's Solomon? He's out getting the negatives of film, whatever the fuck it is. The last dinosaur in town is about to get fossilized. What are you talking about? Look, the movie's nearly done, so if the plug's pulled now, the investors, meaning us, get a massive insurance payout. Meanwhile, I can use that to get the other major shareholder, the old bastard's idiot son, to agree to tear this relic down and let me redevelop the area for condos. <laughs> and in this economy, the city's gonna let me build tax-free. I might even get some rebates. It is a brilliant thing, and it is all thanks to you and Molly's eye for the details of the insurance policy. Michael, they're fucking us! The suits! And they don't even wear suits! Wolves in turds clothing! Try not to take it too badly, Mr. Richards. Were you ever a human being? Look, people used to like films, now they like what? Videoing themselves, beating off on their iFruit phones. Don't blame me. I'm a very spiritual person. I feel badly about this. But evolution is evolution. Gentlemen, Molly. Namaste. Can I take the film now, Mr. Richards? My plane leaves in 25 minutes. Can't we do something? At least let me finish the picture, then close the place down. I'm afraid our timetable doesn't allow for that. Goodbye, Mr. Richards. Where the hell is she going with that movie? She is taking the only copy offshore, somewhere nice and discreet. Analog! God, it's certainly got its complications. Michael, can you do something? No, he can't do anything, pal. It's an inevitability. <sighs> My wife got screwed by a yogi. And now I'm getting screwed by a yogi? Fuck that! I'm a producer! Nobody fucks with my film! Ugh. Yeah. Okay, okay. The airport. We get, we get to meet Devin and he immediately fucks us over. So I guess his plot was to, you know, tear down the, the building, put up a bunch of houses, and then sell his houses, build them tax free so he wouldn't have to pay anything. Literally, Slow he just makes down, money. Slick, you're not thinking. Hey, not I'm at all. Producer. Check that out. I think hey, we're stuck in this little area, by the way. I'm producing the goods. Don't do this, Slick. Think. She's got a police escort. She's on the way to my personal hangar. Security at the airport worked for me. I just want to get the film back. Or she does anything rash with it. Molly's highly strung. She's not gonna stop and talk it out with a deranged killer chasing after her. That ain't who I am today. <laughs> uh huh. I don't uh huh. Hurt anyone. I just want to get my movie. Slow down and use your brain. Fun time is over. <sighs> See, I have no idea where I'm going, by the way, in case you're wondering. And I'm pretty much just wrecked my entire car in a matter of seconds. This this thing goes really fast. 
I guess you could say it goes zero to hundred real quick, but I don't use I don't usually say that kind of shit, so And it spins out of control really fast. Uh, no, here's where I lose the car. I know I lose this car somewhere, right? Or do I get it unstuck? It's wiggly. I think my back wheel is stuck between the curb and the the pipe, and it's confused on how to how to get past this obstacle. So it's just gonna like flicker back and forth. So I have to go find myself a new car, uh, which just just so happens to be this thing. Time for me to break this car. And by the time I get back, that pole is missing. I don't know if I could have gone back into that car. I don't even try. I'm like, whatever. It's probably so glitched knowing my luck. You piece of shit. Oh, yeah, by the way, we're chasing Molly, and if she gets away, you fail the mission and the restart it. <laughs> by the by. So not only did I crash into the gulf, or the little park area... I then lose my car because it got glitched, I guess, or it got stuck, at least for the time being. Um, <laughs> I had to find myself another car and still have to get there in time. I don't know if they have timers for these kinds of missions. I don't see one, and I do think, I'm pretty sure I have my HUD on at this point in the recording. I played the, like, the first half of this game without a HUD, and I'm like, where's the timer for these rampages? What is this shit? Looking back, I'm like, wow, I'm a goddamn idiot. <laughs> I usually just uh, assume the HUD's on. What's she doing? Oh yeah, we finally come to Molly. This ends as about as well as you might expect. Yeah, she starts freaking out for some reason, and I don't know why. That's him, isn't it? Pretty sure that view is of us. Unless she has a red car? Yeah, for some reason Molly starts freaking out for no real reason. None that I can tell, because... Because she has a police escort. She doesn't know we're chasing her. Does she? Like, she gets real crazy. As, as you can tell by the... Uh, oh, she's driving a red car. Uh, yep, that happened. <laughs> now the cops are, like, getting killed. Now she knows I, I'm after her, because I'm shooting at her. But... Yeah, you're telling me she's gone crazy. I'm still not really sure why she went crazy, though. I'm trying to shoot her cards, because I didn't realize uh, this is all... Not scripted, but... Uh, yeah, I guess scripted is the best way to put it. I'm trying to still pull her over, but I'm just... I don't even know how that car blew up. It blew up midair after being like pushed back by a, a plane. Yeah, I think I'm trying to shoot because I didn't realize I'm still only supposed to chase her, not just a uh, killer. Which is why the the dot still blew. You're playing chicken. Uh. <laughs> Pull it over already. I'm probably going too slow. And people are like, oh my god, you could have caught her like 12 times by now. What the fuck are you doing? Look, you saw my driving skills at the beginning of this mission. But I know this part is scripted, so. But how did you know I was after you? I crashed my car. <laughs> I told the cop just, just in case. Uh, yep, the, Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> so that happens. Um, <laughs> yeah, she just gets uh, mauled by by uh, jet engine because reasons. What confuses me the most about this, the physics, uh, it dragged her in, but it somehow didn't drag the film reel in. Oh, yeah, I wouldn't have slowed on time because I was getting ambushed and I still died anyway, so I remember having to redo that. 
Yeah, it was really confusing how she got thrown in there, but the paper or the the reel didn't. Cause she drops it, but if it, if there was enough n enough hey, air pressure to mess. pull her in, shouldn't the reel have gotten in as well? Either way, we are lifting off. Don't hit that truck. Don't hit that truck. I hit that truck. God damn it. Okay. At least my wing didn't snap off and I died. But now we have to just, you know, casually fly away in an airplane. I think I'm turning away because I don't know what what's that way. I wasn't sure if there was anything that way. If I just continue going straight. But I'm pretty sure there's not a not any like cops that fly besides the helicopters. I do have a three-star wanted level, so... Maybe I have helicopters after me? I don't know. It just seems really easy to get away with, away from people in, a, in an airplane. Which is probably what I should do more often, you know? Just call in airplanes whenever I have to deal with the, the police. They don't seem to give two shits about planes. But I don't. And now I'm getting bored, so I'm just going to... <laughs> there is a helicopter! Ah, I got spotted. So I think now, after I getting spotted, I was like, okay. I either jump out now, or I ditch the plane. Or just fly away from the helicopter. So yes, yeah, so I can confirm that there are helicopters that come after you, even though you are on a plane. Not too many. It's far and few between. Cops are just crawling over the entire of this map. <laughs> It's rather impressive. And I don't know why my engines are smoking. Did my second engine just die? Is that what's going on? What the fuck? It's chugging. I don't know why it's chugging. We're getting shot at from like some long range sniper or something? What the fuck? Finally got rid of the wanted level, by the way. That thing takes way too long. Mission passed. Legal trouble. Checkpoints, I messed up the mission time. Florida got it. Didn't get the clean escape. Didn't get news hound. Um. Ah, uh, I'm looking at. Nope. Getting a call. That's right. I'm not completely done with this mission yet. I loved you once, Tony. But there's nothing between us. Now that I know you prefer dictation. Really? We're doing this now? I just watched Devin Weston's legal counsel get juiced in a jet engine. Oh, that Molly woman? Oh, Lord, that's horrible. You have no idea. She panicked, went crazy, and ran into it. But I saved the print, so we still got our movie. You believe that analog thing? It's all digital. We have backups everywhere. I mean, we're shooting on green screen. Well, you could have told me. Yeah, yeah. I'm that sorry. was just... Look, I thought you knew. Why did we panic? It's nearly done, and we've got to get it out. Before they can screw us again, I've greenlit a premiere. That will stop them from burying us. A premiere? For Meltdown? Okay. Can you invite my family? They can finally have something to be proud of me for. Of course. It's already on its way by courier. All right. Shit. I'll get ready. It was an American divorce, by the way. The movie quote. Obviously. That whole mission just seemed really odd. Like, the fact that they, like, they freaked out about the the, the analog being stolen and how it ru it would ruin their movie, and then they're like, oh, lol, it's all on, it's all digital. And then it's like, but why'd you all freak out then? <laughs> what was that entire thing about? And the fact that she did freak out, it just seemed really odd. That it was like, ah, yes. I'm driving after her, therefore she has to freak out. Even though she has police escort. She's still freaking out, even with them. It's, which, what a weird mission. Anyway, uh, I think this is the heist. Either that or it's preparation for the heist. It does have H, and I know this is a Lester's place, so I think it is the heist. Uh, hello, hey, what are you looking so cool calling and collecting for? I guess because I'm not the one who's about to die based on some inappropriate decision I made a long hey time ago. Uh, Thanks for the moral support. I appreciate it. 
What the fuck ever happened to Barry in the past, huh? Any fool should be able to turn over a new leaf, right? Well, first, your new leaves aren't so very different from your previous leaves. <laughs> that is true. A pretty similar tree. And second, the age of the internet, my Ludite friend. Nothing is forgotten. There are no new leaves. Everything you do and don't do is recorded forever and used to beat you. This is the age of Judgment Day every day. And in the revelation of that, I'd say that you got off pretty lightly. What with all the, uh, the murders and the, and the thefts and... All right. This straight talk and new, uh, tell it like it is reality guy act. Uh -huh. It ain't working so well for me. <laughs> well, you asked to. In that case, um, don't worry about it. Everything is fine. You're a good man and a great father, really. It's more like it. Hey, what's up, y'all? Hey. So what y'all talking about? The internet age. <laughs> the internet age? Oh, yeah. Man, ain't we got a highly defended federal building to fucking rob? Yes, we do. Let's get after it. I'm going to miss this place. If we're going to do this thing and maybe take that score. Well, I... I guess this has all got to be gone. All right, with the sad goodbyes. He's pretty on the house, in case you're wondering. 